Alright YouTube Dark Designs here. Today I'm going to be showing you some Photoshop and it's going to be over text uh, or font selection or whatever you want for a signature such as this. <coughs> Sorry. Alright, so. Weird. Font is all about choice selection and whatnot. So, what I'm going to be doing. My current. Why did it change? Weird. Okay, so font choice and selection is going to be about whatever. Fonts you want are, if you look at my selection, they're pretty basic, bold, simple, and plain. They're not anything exotic or anything like, I don't know, uh, bleeding cowboys or um, diffusion. But, uh, so what I'm going to be doing is finding a good font, such as maybe Groovy. And, uh, this is just a picture I took of, or not took, I got a Wolverine. So what I'm going to do is just type in Wolverine. And, uh, you can see it's a nice bold font type. I don't really like the style of it, so I'm just going to change it up to maybe Kimberly. That's a lot better. But it's too big, and the color is not good. So for color selection, you're going to choose some colors from the background. So let's say if I choose that, but make it darker, to around there, and then shrink the size up, to around there, placement, um, it goes with to whatever can fit around your signature, so such as this. Now, since this kind of has a tear effect type, um, it kind of like has explosion. I'm going to take uh, duplicated it. And I'm going to rasterize it. Now grab my sponge tool, zoom in a bit, and I already have my settings preset. That should be. I double check. Yep. And uh, I'm just going to take it and just smudge around these two edges. And uh, hopefully if I drag it underneath, or on top, rather, let's this one as well, and maybe do the same. So it kind of seems like it's going, it's um, from the uh, actual stuff itself. So, just do it in some random areas. Merge these together and uh, we just smudge some of it. We should get a nice effect. Zoom out and there it is. We can uh, now add some more stuff in, so different attacks. So Wolverine, how about uh, Break Loose? I'm gonna have Break right here and choose a different color so maybe a bright color as this but dumb it down and uh, make it a bit smaller in place maybe right about here have it kind of overlapping it and give it some effect so blending options maybe a, a one pixel stroke and uh, lower the opacity on it. And uh, now I'll break loose. There we go. Have it the same color except maybe different position, such as here. And uh, do the same effect. So blending options, give it a one pixel stroke. And I'll let opacity down. We'll break loose, we'll green. And now, what I like to do is I give it some quotes or whatever, but since I can't think of anything for break loose, I'm going to go up here, go to Google Go, and type in break loose quotes. And uh, if it comes up, 
which it isn't, so. That's what I'm gonna do. There it is. Think exit exits is a um, really good site, and uh, so I'm just gonna type in uh, great use. See if we can get some stuff. Alright, I really like this one. It says, when dreaming, I'm guided through another world. Time and time again, at sunrise, I fight to stay asleep because I don't want to leave the comfort of this place. Because there's a hunger and a longing to escape from life I live when I'm awake. I kind of like that. It doesn't really fit. But, uh, people really don't notice it anyway. Well, they do, but they don't say, oh, what's the quote say? So, I'm just gonna copy that. I'm going to here and paste it in. I'm gonna choose Aerial Gold. And, uh, now it's time to make it into a pin type. So, when dreaming, um, I'm gonna hit enter right here. Stay asleep. Maybe enter. Enter. Usually they'll line up for you, like so. And uh, now that you got this, you can shrink it up a bit. And then uh, we're gonna have to distort the text. So, like so. And uh, highlight it. And choose the brightest color they have here. So right about there and I'll put it down and at the bottom text now we're going to even shorten it up more and have it at the end of that beginning of this top of that and there's our text Get it over some more and now you lower the opacity and there you go. That is a tech working with text um, on a signature. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask. And the next tutorial will be over choosing a background for your signature. Thanks.